This event is not for trail newbies. If you are not an experienced trail or ultra runner or adventure racer, we happily invite you to one of the other UTS runs, but not this one. This is a difficult event on a difficult trail that presents many opportunities for one to get lost, injured, exhausted, or incapacitated with sparse access for rescue. In the ultra and trail running community, a fat ass run is a glorified group run. The motto of these runs is no fees, no awards, no aid, and no wimps. Many big, well-known races start out as fat asses and evolve into full-fledged races. Western States, Bloodville Trail 100, the Vermont 50, and the alternate Chili Run all started as small, low-key events. The Athens Big Fork Marathon feels like a fat ass that is aspiring to become a race. Here's how the event feels like a fat ass. There are no fees. You register online and you are asked for a $10 or more donation to the Big Fork Community Center. I love this about this marathon. No awards. It's a timed event and the results will be posted online, but no awards. Not for the winners and no medals or swag for the runners. But you can buy your own t-shirt separately. No wimps. You saw the no wimp warning on the website. And here's how the event feels like a race. The distance is a marathon. You could do it trailhead to trailhead and make it around 22 miles. That would be a fantastic run. But it's stretched to make it a complete marathon. It's two miles from the community center to the trail at the beginning and at the end, and you run a half mile out and back at the far end of the trail. I'm assuming making it a full marathon brings in more 50 and 50 state participants and anyone trying to complete the running bet portion of the New Hampshire compulsion. You get numbers and race bibs. It does have three aid stations, and I'm a big fan of aid stations. When you read the history, it definitely started as a group run that grew and grew and grew and is headed to more of an actual race. So here's my experience with the 2017 Athens Big Fork Marathon. The course is awesome and challenging. It's an out and back on the single track Athens Big Fork Trail. You go up and down eight Ozark Mountains twice for a total elevation climb of over 9,000 feet. One of the more technical elements is the number of creek crossings. There are several of them and you will likely get wet. And while I consider Arkansas to be in the south, it's still January, so be prepared to be cold. I talked with a runner who experienced the race being canceled a couple years ago because the creeks were so high you had to swim them. It's a fantastic course and every bit as difficult as they warn it is. Here's another area where the race feels more like a fat ass than a race. Participants received a confirmation email two days before the race saying 190 runners will be running with details about where to park with so many different runners. Then 18 hours before the race, we got a two sentence email saying, Athens Big Fork Trail Marathon is canceled due to the weather. We will let you know when we reschedule. I was headed down to the race with a group of runners and we thought, wow, bad weather must be coming. So we started checking the weather forecast. Temperature for the start of the race was going to be in the teens, less than an inch of snow, but also sunny and a very light wind. By the end of the race, it would have been over 30 degrees. We couldn't figure out what about the weather was bad and why the race was being canceled because of it. Now, I'm not a race director and I have never even played one on YouTube. I can't imagine the stress and the difficulty of balancing everyone's safety with everyone's enjoyment and I can't imagine how disappointing it must be to feel like you have to cancel your own race. I'm not second guessing the decision in any way, but I am critical of the communication regarding the decision. The why behind the decision was never shared. Maybe it seemed obvious to them, but it wasn't obvious to me. 
last fall when I ran the Hawk, the race director had the difficult decision based on the weather. When she was starting to assess the forecast, she gave us an early heads up about the options. The weather forecasts are predicting a severe storm for the night before the race that could impact the condition of the trails. We're keeping a close eye on it and we'll do everything we can to keep the race as planned. But we won't risk damaging the trails. Stay tuned and we'll update you as soon as we make a decision. Then when the decision was made, she shared the factors she considered, why she moved the course to the road rain course, and how disappointing it was to do so. It was professionally communicated. The vague communication from the organizers of the Athens Big Fork Marathon left me feeling like this decision was inconsistent with their not for trail newbies warning on the website. Now, as a quick follow-up, I have since then emailed the race directors and asked for more specifics, and I received a very gracious email back stating that it was because of the road conditions, they feared it was going to be a little too icy, and because they feared it was going to be too cold for the volunteers um, out at the aid stations. They also added that because the trail is so severe that if anybody got hurt out there on the trails, they would be stuck in the cold and it takes a long time to get out there to be able to get them. So uh, certainly understand all that and had, would have been a better experience if all of that had been communicated up front. So with that disappointing experience, would I sign up again? Oh, hell yes. Oh, most definitely. It's a gorgeous taxing course. You go up eight mountains. The climbing distance is phenomenal and a big challenge. And here's the best part, it's only 10 bucks. Just be aware, it's more like a group run than a race. So if you're traveling from out of town, understand the casual, more fat ass qualities about the event. I'll probably do it again. I think actually it's that uh, casual group run feel about it that makes me want to go back and do it again. It is nice and casual and it's cheap. It's more expensive just in gas and food to get the race than it is to actually run the race.